Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about methodology used in HPDLC. So, first step of methodology uh, for HPDLC is simplified sample preparation. It is, uh, sample preparation is just like TLC, but uh, we have to filter our sample uh, in HPDLC by using Wattman filter paper to remove any particles or uh, any foreign materials present in our sample. So these are the two important part of uh, simplified sample preparation. First one is volatile solvents will be used because uh, it will uh, readily, it, uh, readily uh, evaporate it from the surface of stationary phase and uh, due to uh, proper ev uh, evaporation uh, it will not spread in the stationary phase so our uh, band application will be proper. Second one is filtration by Wattman filter paper. We can, uh, we can use Wattman filter paper number one or uh, we can use Wattman filter paper number uh, 42 for filtration of our sample because if proper solubility of our sample is not there then there will be chances of foreign particles or uh, insoluble particles present in our sample and that insoluble particle will choke our uh, HPDLC syringe and uh, HPDLC syringe is very costly so we have to take care means we have to uh, filter all our samples. Now coming to the second part which is method creation. So these are the two uh, sections of method creation. First we can uh, uh, create our method for screening means for fingerprinting and second one is we can create our method for uh, quantitative analysis okay so coming to the first one which is for screening or fingerprinting uh, by using this method creation we have to uh, put various details of our chromatographic plate and we will get the RF value we will uh, get the number of spots present in that particular sample and uh, we will uh, get the spectra of that particular spots. So by using screening method we can determine RF value of our uh, spots present in our sample. We can determine how many spots or how many compounds present in our sample and uh, we can also know about spectra of selected spots. Okay, now coming to the second one which is method creation for quantitative analysis. Uh, for method creation of quantitative analysis, we can know about So by using quantitative analysis we are able to determine RF value of our compounds, number of spots, uh, spectra of selected spots, area or height of uh, our standard and sample, uh, purity of the spot and uh, amount of the sample. So basically this quantitative analysis is used for determination of uh, quantity of our sample or our analyte. Okay, so by using this method we can uh, uh, we are able to determine amount of our sample and this is the basic requirement for uh, this method creation of quantitative analysis. Now coming to the third step which is uh, sample application. So for sample application in HPDLC, we are using a sample applicator. 
ओके एंड दी सैंपल एप्लीकेटर इज फिटेड विथ अ सीरीज एंड दैट इज अ माइक्रो सीरीज ऑफ हंड्रेड माइक्रो लीटर so by using this micro syringe we can apply one microliter sample in our hptlc now coming to the uh, second part which is nitrogen gas is used why we are using nitrogen gas because we are applying our liquid sample and we have to spray our liquid sample for uh, proper evaporation of solvents which is present in uh, our uh, sample okay so we are that is why we are using nitrogen gas for spraying and uh, it, it it will also dry the solvent or dry our sample and the second uh, third one is it will provide an inner inert environment so there will be a nozzle which will supply nitrogen gas uh, during application of our sample so next one is uh, position of bed it is very important for hptlc in which position we are applying our sample for example this is our hptlc plate and uh, how we have to apply our uh, our sample so if we are applying our sample here here so it is very near to the bottom and we will uh, when we will put this accessory phase in mobile phase then it will dip in the mobile phase so proper development will not be there so we have to uh, take care that there should be proper distance from the bottom will be there okay so we will put our bed like this okay so it is uh, around 2 cm away from the bottom okay next coming to the band width means distance from this left corner to the uh, right corner how much distance is there we have to take care okay for proper development of our chromatographic plate next one is distance between beds beds means we have to keep distance between two beds for example we have we are putting our second bed here so distance between two beds means this gap should be higher because if this gap gap is very low then both the beds will mix up okay then coming to the next one which is speed of the application speed of the application is totally dependent on our sample means uh, what solvent we are using for uh, sample preparation if our solvent is volatile then we can use fast speed means 1 uh, uh, <coughs> microliter will be applied for 5 second or 1 microliter will be applied for 7 second if our uh, sample is slightly uh, less volatile then we can use uh, one microliter per 10 second if our uh, sample is uh, very less volatile then we have to use one microliter will be applied for 15 second so this is the speed of application now coming to the next step which is fourth one so fourth one is chromatographic development in chromatographic development we are using various uh, hptlc chamber for development our of our uh, this sample applied hptlc plate so first one is twin trough chamber as i have already discussed about twin trough chamber in tlc it is most commonly used uh, because there will be a chamber which is uh, which is divided into two parts okay so we can use this chamber for saving of our solvent so it will be cost effective and uh, we can develop our uh, hptlc plate by using twin trap chamber second one is horizontal development in horizontal development we will put our uh, plate like this and uh, there will be a wick uh, like this and from uh, and in this wick from uh, down side some solvent will be there and this solvent will run like this horizontally so this is known as horizontal development next one is automatic multiple uh, by using this uh, chromatographic development chamber uh, we have to give command in our computer and uh, according to that it will select uh, solvent system uh, and uh, ratio of solvent system and development takes place and the uh, last one is gradient development in gradient development uh, 
ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट वी कैन चेंज चेंज द रेसियो ऑफ सॉलवेंट सिस्टम सो दिस आर द फोर टेक्निक्स ऑफ प्रोमेटोग्राफिक डेवलपमेंट नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विच इज फिफ्थ So fifth one is visualization. In visualization, photo documentation or documentation takes place. Apart from that, derivation can also be done for proper visualization of our spots. What is for photo documentation? For photo documentation, one camera is fitted in our HPTLC chamber where UV light is there, and by using that camera, we can uh, we can take photograph of our stationary plate or HPTLC plate. and the next one is derivation we can use various derivatizing agent or visualizing agent for detection of particular compound and we can visualize that particular compound it was already discussed in episode 5 of tlc now coming to the next step which is sixth one Sixth one is scanning. In scanning, we have to do quantitative analysis and we have to do identification also. And for scanning, we have to put uh, the values of position of band, band width, and distance between two bands uh, in our software. And by using software, our scanner will uh, scan and give all details about qualitative and uh, identification of our HPTLC plate. Now coming to the next step, which is seventh one. So seventh one is evolution of HPTLC plate. this software after this scanning we will get the result of evolution in the form of rf value of each spot we will get area of each spot we will get height of each spot and we will get spectra of each spot apart from that we will get the purity of each spot for example uh, if we are having sample like this it is a sample and there is a spot present here spot present here so our hptlc scanner will scan our spot from start position this one is start position of spot it will scan from middle position of spot and it will scan from end position of spot okay if uh, same compound is present in this particular spot then pattern of spectra will be same and their uh, purity of that particular spot will be 100% but if there is two compounds present in there so uh, for example in starting spectra will be like this in middle also same compound is there so same it will be like this but if at the in different compound is there so spectra will be different it may be different from this one it may be like this so we can get to we can came to know about purity of uh, the spot means our spot is properly separated or not so this is the overview about uh, methodology which is used in hptlc method thank you